it's 4, 15, 420. And I got a call from the boss. And he said, hey, you know, sorry I woke you up, but uh, <laughs> my tire fell off the work truck on the way to work. I need you to go get, you know, pick up Michael, which is his son, but also his kid driver. I thought he was going to get me to come get him, but he needed me to get to go get he, Michael and them, or Michael, and go load trucks. So we're headed out quite a bit earlier. And I was sleeping good, too. Well, uh, long weekend of fishing done whooped me down a little bit. So this is how this video started. 4.20 in the morning or 4.15 in the morning. We are heading out. I'm gonna stop by the store here. Luckily, the store opens early, and uh, we're gonna get a get a little something to eat, a little snack. I didn't even get time to make any breakfast. I got to go. Welcome to logging, baby. Gotta go. Gotta go. We got a rodeo. Go. All right, so we got out here early, loading a big old gnarly load of hardwood. But we're gonna go down here and look at this uh, load, the shear, or my tree cutter, or. Feller bunch or whatever part of the country you're in. Let's go look at it. They got the head gasket on. It did have a bloat head gasket, no damage to the head, which is a good thing. You never want to crack to you. Um, but let's go look at it. He's uh almost got it fixed up. Almost through with it. Uh, he's got the head back on. Boy, they are nasty when you start putting them back on. And there's so much to do. I mean, torquing the bolts, setting the valves. Lots of stuff to do in there. But as you see, he's almost got it going. Um, that right there, let's see. That's the best tree cutter machine in the world. I'm going to let you know. 718, I mean a Tiger Cat specifically. That brand right there is unbeatable best brand in the world it'll be the john deere to death and i know for people coming to comment saying oh you know, if it's the best brand why does it break everything breaks that's not a tiger cat engine that's a cummins engine uh it's a six seven i believe and i'm gonna tell you that's a good engine they're tough engines they're, they're durable they're easy to work on um before they started putting government juice in these things but that's a good machine the best on the market in my opinion uh, I've run them all, and I gotta say that right there is probably the best. But we gonna have a good day today. We gonna keep y'all involved, let you know what we're doing. We're finishing up this clear cut. Should finish. Should get this going back today. We'll be cutting tomorrow, so you get to see some cutting tomorrow. We'll have this video be a couple days long. Uh, pretty fun to see all the stuff. You'll get to see us crank this up. See if that we got it fixed up, ready to go. But just keep staying tuned. These videos are gonna be fun. They're gonna be awesome. Let's go. Ah, the life of logging. One truck leaving, another truck coming. It's a non-stop circle of, well, it's a circle of life. But it's pretty cool there. We got a Mack truck going out with some hardwood. We got a lot of hardwood. Got another truck coming in. And, uh, Shear still is not fixed, tree cutter, whatever you want to call it, still not fixed. But we're going to get some reports because we had a lot of good stuff happen. And, uh, a lot of good stuff happened in the last couple days. A lot of fun. So yesterday we had a very eventful day. Uh, we had a belt break on the skidder. Now, uh, the skidder driver did a good job of catching it. Uh, because Tiger Cats are very loud. The motor itself is not extremely loud when it's running. Uh, but the fan is outrageously loud. He noticed that the sound changed and we pulled up, we saw the fan belt was broke. So we cut, uh, we uh, you know got the fan belt out, something shredded it, don't know what. We checked all the pulleys, the bearing, uh, all the pulleys, you know, the idler pulleys, the, the tensioner, the water pump, we checked everything. Everything looked good. I don't know why it shredded. Uh, sometimes it happens, but usually there's a reason. We're gonna find, that reason probably gonna bite us here for long. 
But at some point when it did it, it got hot. Uh, the motor got pretty hot. And that fried, um, getting hot fried the thermostat. I had never seen that before. Uh, I'm not saying it doesn't happen. And I know there's going to be some people who say it does. But I had never seen one get hot and the thermostat stopped working. So we we went to get the thermostat. Uh, finally got it put in. Um, after doing all the stuff, checked it. Luckily, that did uh, fix the problem um, because it would have been pretty scary had it not fixed the problem. Uh, uh, because then you're talking about head gaskets, which is the problem there. And uh, just got to finish putting them back together. I think the mechanic had to go to the doctor yesterday. Luckily, I was about 100 loads or so ahead on the ground, so that did not uh, create a problem. But today, we're in the process of scrapping and cleaning and trying to pick everything up. We're just about through with this track, going to move to a new area pretty soon. But uh, we're just getting everything cleaned up. Going to load some trucks today. Um, hopefully, we'll get that cutter going back today where I can cut tomorrow. Um, if I can cut tomorrow, because I still have a, a few little areas to clean up uh, that, that happened right when the, the shear was messing up so uh just a, just a little update nothing major today uh there's gonna be no uh probably no videos today um which you know kind of a little bit different uh, I, I wanted to put some videos of each machine working in there uh i still might might try to slide one in here maybe a truck load and i might do a time lapse of the truck load and put that in there also but guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing Ring the bell. Hey, they're going to get better and worse. You never know. Logging's tough sometimes. It's not always pretty. Matter of fact, it ain't never pretty. And it's way harder than farming. I don't know any, but I'm sure there'll be a farmer come on here and say, oh, we work so hard. Oh, it's so much trouble when the government subsidizes everything we do. And we have to trade our new equipment in. That's like six, seven years old. That John Deere out there, where'd it go? There you go. That thing's probably 12, 15 years old. The Tiger Cat Skitter is nine years old, eight years old. Uh, this loader, um, probably eight or nine years old. You don't get to have those same joys that farming has. Uh, farmers, you know, they're always upgrading equipment. You know, something breaks. I mean, you watch them all the time. 90% of them, they're taking it down to the dealership, getting it fixed. We do our own mechanic out here. Very rarely do you see the mechanics come out here and fix our equipment. Uh, unless it's under warranty. And a warranty left on any of this stuff. And so the life is of logging in the logger. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing again. Ring that bell.